Here in London, this robot on display will soon be getting an extreme makeover. iCub is a robot being modeled after a two-year-old child, but its hands are currently the size of an eight-year-old's. We redesigned the hand and we now have a hand which is the size of an 18-month-old child. Uh, so it's very tiny. It's got um, 22 degrees of freedom. So it's got almost all the motions you have in the human hand. According to the team, it's the smallest hand in the world with such dexterity. It will be equipped with sensors to help it pick up objects. But the robot will also soon have a new, more springy set of legs. Impacts are really nasty um, with the traditional design because of the way you have them with the gearbox and the motor. If you take a heavy impact, you'll actually probably destroy the robot. With the, the new version, what we have at the minute is with the springs, um, which are built into the system, we can absorb energy. The new legs should help ICUB withstand falls and interact with humans in a safer way. But in addition to new limbs, another team is upgrading its brain. Traditionally in robotic learning we tend to use lots of training data which is very time consuming and requires lots of demonstrations. So instead at Imperial College we're uh, trying to learn with one shot learning which means you just need one demonstration um, and perhaps your learning might not be as precise but it'll be something that you can use to generalise later. iCub successfully used this approach to play a game of tic-tac-toe it learned to draw a circle using its camera. Then it replicated the drawing elsewhere on the grid, as well as on a different board altogether. But soon it could learn to do more complex tasks. Tic-tac-toe is quite a small problem. Um, maybe when we've got some more feedback on the, the robot, they're developing uh, tactile sensors and things, so perhaps grasping objects and uh, learning how to pass objects, interactions with people. With time, iCUB should become more and more human-like. The team also hopes to cover its metallic skeleton with a soft structure that mimics skin.